Hello everybody. In this lecture we are going to start talking about uh, free abelian groups. We are going to define the concept. In the upcoming lectures we are going to uh, prove the universal property of free abelian groups and we are going to see that we can view every uh, abelian group as a quotient of a free abelian group which will lead us uh, to the topic of um, generators and relations and to the rank of a rank of a free abelian group. Um, so let's uh, first start with the definition. Let's say we have a free, uh, uh, an abelian group, not free, uh, we have an abelian group. So F is an abelian group. Now we want to say um, that F is free if the following is true. There is a subset B inside F such that for every element bi in B, we have that the cyclic group generated by this element bi is infinite, or in other words, is uh, isomorphic to the whole numbers. Z. and uh, such that our group F is a direct sum of these cyclic groups Bi. This is the definition of a free abelian group. So um, let's um, see what the elements look like. By definition of uh, the direct sum, the elements, so let's pick an element x, which is which is an element of f. How does x look, look like? x is a finite linear combination, which looks like this. We have a sum going from i equal to 1 to n. Um, with coefficients m i, um, which multiply the b i, and uh, all elements in F look like this. So uh, this is the definition of a free abelian group, and uh, this set b is called the basis. And uh, what we are going to see in the next lecture is that if we uh, specify a function f on this uh, on this basis, which goes to another group, um, there exists just one um, homomorphism from f to this group, um, which extends this uh, function on b. This will be the universal property. So uh, stay tuned for uh, the next lecture. Thank you for watching. See you next time.